So hello everyone. Uh, today we have Mr. Madhav Gupta with us, who has secured All India Rank 132 in this year's Civil Service Examinations result, which have been recently declared. And uh, Madhav's fourth attempt, you know, this was his fourth attempt. First, it's a very interesting journey. First attempt, prelims was not there. He was out in the prelims round. Second attempt, he came till interviews and then again back to zero. Again, third attempt, prelims not cleared. And fourth attempt, it is done and dusted. So fourth attempt, he has got All India rank 132. A very interesting roller coaster ride, Madhav. Yes, sir. Tell us something about yourself, Madhav. Ma'am, I belong to Junnu district in Rajasthan. So mm -hmm. I did my schooling till 12th class from Birla Public School in Pilani. And mm -hmm. Graduation from Bits Pilani in MSc Economics. So about my eight years of schooling have been done in Pilani. Okay. So basically, you are from Junjunu. So this dream is that you came to UPSC in Pilani or from the beginning of Pilani? In school time, I mean, 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 जैसे ऐसे कॉलेज में इयर्स मतलब जैसे ऐसे फर्स्ट सेकंड थर्ड फोर्थ ईयर में आया तो तब थोड़ी समझ आई कि मतलब कैसे बनते हैं क्या होता है फिर फोर्थ ईयर में प्लेसमेंट्स भी मैंने नहीं लिए थे क्योंकि आई वाज मींस श्योर कि एग्जाम ही देना है तो तब फिर कोचिंग किया था एंड देन आई हैड वर्क एज टीचिंग एसोसिएट इन लवासना ऑल्सो फॉर अबाउट तो फिर के बाद से ही आई हैव बीन ट्राइंग फॉर द एग्जाम Okay, so mainly it was uh, at your college uh, level that you decided to take up this exam and that too after three years of your college, yeah? Yes, ma'am. Uh, so, Madhav, your college is from BITS Pilani, you have BITS Pilani, you have done BSc, MSc, BITS Pilani, se kiya. and yes. you opted for PSIR optional, yeah? Yes. So, science say humanities ki taraf ye shift kyu kaise? मैं इनिशियली मैंने जब फर्स्ट ईयर प्रिपरेशन का स्टार्ट किया था तब मैंने इकोनॉमिक्स ऑप्शनल ही लिया था और मतलब मैंने एक बार कोर्स भी कर चुका था मैं इकोनॉमिक्स ऑप्शनल का पूरा बाद में मैंने जब पेपर देने की मॉक्स दिए तब मुझे थोड़ा मुश्किल लगा कि इकोनॉमिक्स ऑप्शनल मतलब मेरे पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से स्कोरिंग बन नहीं रहा था फिर मैंने कुछ सीनियर्स से कंसल्ट किया तो उन्होंने पी सजेस्ट किया मुझे क्योंकि इसका और भी पार्ट में काफी ओवरलैप है जीएस में मुझे बहुत ही ज्यादा हेल्प मिली मतलब जीएस में एसए में और ऑप्शनल का कंटेंट भी काफी इंटरेस्टिंग था तो इसलिए फिर आई वेंट टू पीएसआर आपकी जर्नी तो वाकई में इट्स वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग लाइक फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट फिल्म्स नहीं हुआ दूसरा अटेम्प्ट इंटरव्यू दिया तीसरा अटेम्प्ट फिल्म्स नहीं हुआ पहली बार इकोनॉमिक्स ऑप्शनल से सोचा स्टार्ट करना फिर देन यू मूव्ड ऑन टू पीएसआईआर ऑप्शनल सो यू हैव लॉट ऑफ एक्सपीरियंसेस टू शेयर सो व्हाट इज द क्रक्स आउट ऑफ ऑल दीस एक्सपीरियंसेस फॉर द फ्यूचर एस्पिरेंट्स कि कैसे इस जर्नी में क्या चीज काम आती है क्या करना चाहिए because you have amazing journey for this exam. मैम क्रक्स आई वुड से कि इसे फर्स्ट टाइम में मैंने मॉक्स इतने नहीं दिए थे प्रैक्टिस नहीं थी तो सेकंड टाइम जब मैं इंटरव्यू तक गया तब मैंने अराउंड जस्ट फ्रॉम प्रीलिम्स पॉइंट ऑफ यू अराउंड एट टू टेन थाउजेंड एमसीक्यू सॉल्व करे थे और टाइम एट टू टेन थाउजेंड यस मैम टाइम बाउंड मैनर में दो दो घंटे � दो या तीन मार्क के मार्जिन से निकला है तो बहुत एकदम बॉर्डर पे निकला है मेरा तो मतलब एक तो मैं मैसेज यही दूंगा कि आप सी साइड को बिल्कुल लाइटली नहीं लेना चाहिए मतलब आजकल लोग जिनको जीएस के प्रीलिम्स पेपर में लोग सौ सौ के ऊपर ला पा रहे हैं पर वो सी साइड में रह जा रहे हैं तो एक तो सी साइड पे फोकस और सेकेंड में मॉक टेस्ट का मैं सबसे बड़ा कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन दूंगा प्रिलिम्स में भी और मेन्स में भी मतलब टाइम बाउंड दो दो घंटे के प्रीलिम्स में और तीन तीन घंटे के मेंस में मतलब उससे मुझे एग्जाम टाइप सिमुलेशन पूरा मिल चुका मिल गया था। सो व्हेन आई टेल यू व्हाट इज़ द राइट टाइम टू स्टार्ट द टेस्ट पेपर्स टेस्ट सीरीज। मैम आई स्टार्टेड इट अबाउट सिक्स मंथ्स प्राय टू द एग्जाम। सो इनिशियली व्हाट so I got uh -huh. about 20-80 tests. So I used to first give the 
uh, exam uh, put uh, in two hours solve uh, the hundred questions and after that I used to tally my answers with the explanation given below the uh, behind the uh, questions. So that was my approach. Mm -hmm. So what is the trend that you have seen? The changing trend in CSAT paper and how one should you know cope up with this changing trend. Well, trend, I feel that questions have become much more difficult. So earlier, it, it was very standard 10th class or 11th, 12th class. But now I, I know a few people, uh, one or two people who have done their master's from US and they could not uh, clear CSAT, but they managed to get more than 80, 90 marks in GS paper one of them. This so, exam is a complete leveler. Yes, ma'am, definitely. So means that... Uh, the quality of questions has way increased in CSAT, both in English and in mathematics as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. So test series, you said almost eight months prior to the exam, you have started the test series for your prelims. Yes. And when did you start writing your test for mains? How many months before? Ma'am, usually around three months we get after prelims for mains. So... I, st I studied, I prepared content for about 15-20 days for every paper and after that I started giving uh, mains, mains uh, exams. I gave around 15 full-length mains tests. So after the prelims uh, exam, like results and when you knew that yes, I have qualified prelims, after that you attempted your test series for mains? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so you did not prepare it before? Then before I prepared, but not I didn't give three three hour long full length test. I used to uh, normally answer writing. I used to do like two questions, three questions at a time. But mm -hmm. full length three hour tests I gave after the prelims result. Okay. Yes. So this uh, writing and how, like you have uh, like in the second attempt you could not clear your interviews. Yeah. Like yes. you have you have gone uh, gone till your interview, but you could not finally. Yeah, get to it. So I think uh, mains was also like mains marks were also that time uh, issue. And mains and interview both were an issue. So this time around, I when I self reflected, so I found that in in the second attempt when I reached the interview and could not make it to the final list. So I was focusing only on the means filling up the blank space in the sheets. Mm -hmm. This time and I was neglecting a bit the presentation part. So this time around, I focused, I gave equal focus on content and its presentation as well, like maps and any diagrams, these sort of things. And when I feel the interview has been the game changer for me this time. So I got 160 uh, in the in my second attempt. This time I got 205. Oh, good marks. Yes, ma'am. Good marks. So it's yes. like, uh, like your, you have improvised upon your answer writing skills. Yeah, that is, it means answer writing is not only just the content, but how you present your content. It's not about quantity, it's about quality. Yes, ma'am, definitely. So you, you have used maps, diagrams, and all those things in your GS papers? Ma'am, mostly like GS1 and GS3 have a lot of scope, I feel, to use maps. For example, in GS1 questions on... Uh, water water resources or any mm -hmm. mineral resources like this in this main question on monsoon uh, yeah. was there I can remember correctly so they are the areas where one can easily draw a small India diagram or the mm -hmm. rain we can show via diagrams and in GS3 like internal security like there was a question I can remember what are the internal security challenges of India so mm -hmm. it one two three four I made a big map of India on on one page and then depending on different areas i drew them like in the western punjab uh, infiltration drugs mm -hmm. and uh, uh, naxalism in the south south india so it, these are the areas where one can use maps so that is you have to be very innovative in your answer yes. writing yes ma'am. and that comes with practice yeah yes definitely and mother, you said you improvise upon your interview also. And you have been our ITP interview guidance program student also. Yes. So how, like what you did to improvise upon uh, like your interview skills or your personality overall? 
मैम कपल ऑफ थिंग्स लाइक इन इन माय इन माय फर्स्ट टाइम व्हेन आई गिव इंटरव्यू आई वाज अ बिट नर्वस एज वेल बिकॉज़ इट वाज माय फर्स्ट टाइम सो आई स्टंबल्ड अ फ्यू टाइम्स एंड आई वाज आई वाज फोकसिंग मोर ऑन द नॉलेज नॉलेज पार्ट एंड लेस ऑन द पर्सनालिटी पार्ट सो आई वाज ट्राइंग टू गिव बुकिश आंसर्स इन माय फर्स्ट फर्स्ट ट्राई बट दिस टाइम आई वाज अ बिट मोर कॉन्फिडेंट बिकॉज़ आई हैड बीन देयर अर्लियर एंड आई वाज I was trying to give more emphasis on the means. What is my personality? What is my thinking or approach towards problems? So, when for for example, they asked me a question in interview about uh, malnutrition in India. Mm-hmm. So, I started that answer by saying that we need to address malnutrition because children who are under five today, they will be a part of our workforce in twenty forty seven when we aim to become a developed nation. Yes. So, this was the major focus of my answer and secondary focus was 1 2 3 4 anganwadi primary nutrients <laughs> because that content has already been checked in mains mm. so this time around i focused more on the thinking part approach that's why upsc is ko personality test hi bolta hai hai na hum hum isko interview informally bolte hain aur hum jo hai yahan pe फैक्चुअल चीजों पे कई बार फोकस करने लग जाते हैं तो इंटरव्यू में जो बेसिकली एक्चुअली इट्स अ पर्सनालिटी टेस्ट है ना दे आर एक्चुअली टू योर पर्सनालिटी यस सो माधव हाउ वाज योर एक्सपीरियंस विद द बोर्ड किस का बोर्ड था इस बार मैम लेफ्टिनेंट जनरल राज शुक्ला सर का बोर्ड था सो लाइक माय ऑप्शनल वाज पॉलिटिकल साइंस सो स्टार्टिंग में अराउंड 5 6 मिनट्स ही वाज फोकस्ड ओनली ऑन इंटरनेशनल रिलेशंस पार्ट ओनली लाइक Uh, India neighborhood, India USA, Russia, all these questions. And the, the things which were there in the current, mostly yes, around. Ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Around, around. I can remember f- five or six questions were there, which were, which were in the news of past mm-hmm. one or two. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. Yes. So, this one, the board, uh, or the last one, the board. what difference do you see in them because generally it said that upsc board is very cordial so did you find like a difference for your first time and this time ma'am to be honest both in both the times board was very cordial but my approach was different in earlier times compared to this time and when my first interview was during covid so we had masks and face shields and board members also had had that so we did not have any uh, eye contact with any board members but mm-hmm. this time face shields and masks were not there so i could have a uh, direct eye contact with the board members so that could reflect my personality much better compared to the earlier times mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and the questions may were asked mainly around your daf or in general questions they were asking and from daf only one or two questions were there like my work experience at the labasna in masuri and mm-hmm. most of the questions were from international relations part a few of the questions were theoretical questions from psi optional as well like mm-hmm. social social contract constitution these were some of the theoretical questions and apart from that like my uh, work experience and graduation has been in economics so economics related questions were there like unemployment monopoly khadi Mm-hmm. Sports, I think, is your hobby. Ma'am, yes, ma'am. I had written sports, but they didn't ask me anything from sports. Okay, okay. Yes. So, Madhav, you have been part of our interview guidance program also. So, how was your experience at Next IS? Ma'am, it was very good. I had I had enrolled it in my earlier interview as well. So, means the mocks that had been done and the. list of questions that was provided related to state and my other background they were very helpful in preparing for the final interview okay. mother as as the prelims are approaching and you have a lot of experience of prelims yeah <laughs> so what are the tips you would like to share uh, to the aspirants who will be writing prelims this time or maybe next year Ma'am, I'll say two, three points. So first, I would say that previous year questions doing is a must because then this time around I had solved previous year questions from around nineteen ninety five till twenty twenty two, and mm-hmm. those times UPSC had already asked these questions like assertion reasoning based, which they have started mm-hmm. to ask this time. So to me, these type of questions were not 
they were uh, i was comfortable dealing with them unlike many of the other students who had not done previous year questions mm -hmm. so my first first advice would be to solve previous year questions that is a must and then mm -hmm. second be to solve as much mcqs as possible like i did around 8 to 10000 in both of my times when i cleared prelims because mm -hmm. that that gives the feel of means arriving at at one option and eliminating the others mm -hmm. okay uh, so did you go for your p uh, pyqs in your mains also yes ma'am definitely because in uh, in prelims pyqs are not repeated verbatim as it is but mm -hmm. uh, are helpful in preparing for means which kind of questions can be asked but in mains mm -hmm. definitely pyqs are repeated as it is as well Mm -hmm. so in both prelims and mains, PYQs have been a big source of preparation for me. Yes, and Madhav, uh, see, second attempt you went till up till your interviews. Third yes. attempt you could not clear your prelims. So, SSTC, me, did you doubt yourself? Because that is that is something is what is natural. Yeah, ये exam मेरे से नहीं होगा या मैं इसके लायक नहीं हूँ. एक बार prelims तक, दूसरी बार अच्छे से पढ़ के दिया इंटरव्यू और उस टाइम मैम मेरा इंटरव्यू एकदम लास्ट के टाइम में था मतलब लास्ट के दो तीन दिन में था सो आई आई बिकेम ओवर कॉन्फिडेंट ऑन माई सेल्फ की मेन्स भी अच्छा हुआ है प्रिलिम्स इंटरव्यू भी अच्छा हुआ है तो कुछ ना कुछ तो रैंक मुझे मिल ही जाएगी तो प्रिलिम्स वॉज जस्ट अबाउट टेन डेज आफ्टर द फाइनल रिजल्ट सो आई डेंट इवन स्टडी फॉर प्रिलिम्स की मेरा हो ही जाएगा हो ही जाएगा सर फिर हुआ नहीं तो फिर इन दैट वे आई कुड नॉट प्रिपेयर फॉर प्रिलिम्स ऑल्सो इन सेवन टेन डेज so both of the times when i couldn't uh, prepare uh, for the exam i didn't i didn't clear prelims but baki dono time matlab mujhe itna pata tha ki agar acche se padh ke dunga to dono baar mein do hi baar acche se padha aur dono baar i have reached till interview so madhav aapki aapke experience se ye bilkul clear samajh mein aata hai ki is exam ko you cannot take it for granted and yes. you cannot be devoiding yourself of the hard work and you, know, you have to do the hard work you have to be very consistent with your consistent with your preparation you know you have to be very honest to yourself in your preparations definitely so uh, madhav aapki puri journey se uh, matlab hum sabko bahut motivation milti hai ki yes you have to you have to be very clear in your mind yes this is my target bhale usme upar niche padao aate rahe but we have to be very consistent we have to be very honest we have to be very dedicated towards our goal and wish you all the best for the new endeavor madhav thank Hope you so much see you as a bright civil servant in the future thank you so much thank you madhav thank you thank you madhav